for sale 1979 GMC short bed pickup. I'm going to walk around it, take it by the truck, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, short bed GMC pickup 1979 finished in black with gray interior, 350 turbo 400 trans, 12 bolt rear, power steering and power front disc brakes, and as always, you know, with everything I do know about it. When anything I do see, fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving. And of course, you know, starting here in the front as always. Uh, restored truck, without a doubt. Painted probably 10 years ago. Doesn't seem to have been used too much, just condition-wise. Uh, you know, new front bumper, new grill, all the tr chrome. New tire and wheel combo. And then they customized the bed a little bit, shaved it off in the back with the uh, exhaust, and that just... It, it does look nice. Tonneau cover with a nice solid bed, um, which I'll show you when I get to it. Custom interior, which I'll show you when I get to it. So a lot of great things about this truck. Uh, anyway, just to start here, you see a little touch up right there on that edge. The paint looks sweet. I mean, if you see a little white specks, it's got a little bit of dust on it because we're outside. Looks nice there. Um, no bubbles here. I know that commonly happens on these trucks just the way the hood's designed, so that's nice, giving you an idea of how recent the paint is and, of course, garage kept and whatnot. Um, I love the truck rallies on here with the GMC hubs in the middle. But anyway, I want to pop the hood now, which just to make it easy, I'm going to leave my phone down quickly. It's easier to do with two hands. 350 aluminum intake which is edelbrock edelbrock car headers on there you see the braided fuel line i know that's expensive it's got a very expensive holly electric fuel pump underneath the car like a 250 dollars fuel pump um brake booster master cylinder for the power front disc brakes power steering down there and just nice and clean in here back out a little bit show you that looks nice there Nice there as well. So it's not it's not an AC truck. It's not a power window truck. Oh, we just put the alternator on. It was was shot, so I bought a brand new one. Um, yeah, yeah. Not really too much to talk about in here. So let's show you the underhood, and then we'll go down the side of the car truck. some light touch-ups on this edge maybe it rubbed at some point but the fitment now looks definitely the way it should be as well as fitment to the rocker down there as well as the door going up no cracks you see a little bit of dust up there but no cracks in the glass of course these uh seal is new it's probably a new windshield actually window looks good there down it's not uh, the the it's not show paint you see a little little ripple in there but it still looks super nice on it, especially in black i mean just just let me back down here the reflection of myself still looks super nice so uh but anyway we're gonna pop in go in the interior ignore the things that i brought in from over my feet but the bench seat it's a tmi bench seat i know this because i just had a Camaro with these bucket seats in there. They are so comfortable, and I'm pretty sure this seat costs $1,200 at least, $12 to $1,500 just for the seat. And this comes out. I have a picture with it out, so you can just you know have a three person. You can have that. It matches perfectly. It is so comfortable. My fa my favorite aftermarket seats. Uh, so I was I was excited just to, to find out that that was in here. New door panel, of course. You know, nice metal in here no rust under the door i don't know if you actually saw that but there is none over there looks nice new weather stripping new carpet uh these little holes here are for zbart because it has the tabs on that side so just another bonus for the truck but anyway flash of that the dash pad is new the stainless is new there stainless is new here new gauges aftermarket radio 
move the horn there as well. So that's nice. Steering wheel looks fantastic as well. And then I didn't even show you yet. It's got that nice high liner headliner with a couple speakers up there. I love the way this looks. One of the probably the third truck I've had that's had something like that in there. Your sail panel pieces look nice here as well. Uh, just, just, just cool. Really cool. So as you're driving, you get that custom feeling to it. Did mention the tonneau cover, which is very nice quality. And again, if I see anything that jumps out at me, like a like a mark or something, I will point it out. There's a little buffing compound stuck on there. Dang it. No bubbles down there. The body is. I want to look down again. The body is super straight on this. I know the bed's super straight. The doors are straight. The fender's straight. I mean, I'm impressed on that. Look at this side. Yeah, yeah. Same deal here. When you look down from here to here, how straight that is. Can you see that? I know it's a little, it's a little blurry, a little hard to make it out, but I want to refocus my camera. Okay, there we go dual stainless steel exhaust. I like the way it comes out there. And uh, this is nice. And of course, that is straight there. And I got the tonneau cover open because to get in the bed. Like that. And there's the bed. I didn't really bother cleaning it out because it's covered mostly. And it's got a fuel cell up there that the guy just installed not too long ago. I don't have the exact size of it, but I have it in notes and I will, without a doubt, put it in the ad or write a little blurb in the video. A little touch up right there. how nice this lines up all the way that fitment no door edge marks there and again nice in here nothing under the door and then here you see it here the z bar taps z bar tabs excuse me new door panel you see this this is all nice Again, TMI seat there. But anyway, we are going to fire it up now here in just a, about a minute or two. And I did miss one blemish. I was trying to figure out where it is. Just a little bubble right there in the corner of that door. marks right there a couple other ones there but anyway thank you for watching and we are going to fire her up now driver and then hop in thank you okay
really doesn't even feel like a truck. No. You know, it drives like a like a it, car. It's kind of like a suburban. Yeah. Well, because it, it is a fifteen hundred if it was a heavier. Yeah. Duty. Like sometimes you're in a truck and it feels like a truck. I mean, everything is new on there. Yeah, but no, but sometimes you you get in a truck and if you're like, oh, I'm in a truck, this doesn't have that yeah. feeling. 